What's up guys, my name is Giovanni and in today's video we're going to be going over the MX Master 3S that I recently upgraded to. I'm excited to show you guys how I utilize this mouse to speed up my workflow when it comes to video editing using Premiere Pro. Before starting the video, let's check out the difference between the MX Master 3 and the MX Master 3S. And let me tell you guys right now, it is insanely quiet. Let's check it out. Let's open up the Logi options. This is the MX Master 3S that I recently upgraded to. Keep in mind that these are the global settings once you open up the Logi options application. You can assign custom buttons for every application. For example, here, Photoshop, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Google Chrome, Excel, PowerPoint, Word. Every application can have its own custom buttons. Let's go to the Premiere Pro application and let's set up the custom buttons. Before we make any changes, let's open up Premiere Pro. Let's open up a project to see these changes in real time. Let's unlink the audio. That way it doesn't interrupt any of our editing. To do that, let's go ahead and press Alt L. Pressing Alt L detaches the audio from videos. Let's delete the audio. Let's go to the keyboard shortcuts. So these are my custom keyboard shortcuts at the moment that I currently use for my workflow. We're gonna assign these shortcuts to the MX Master 3S to save time. And I've taken notes of all the custom buttons and shortcuts that I use from the beginning to end to minimize the usage of the keyboard and maximize the functionalities of the MX Master 3S. Let's go back to our timeline so I can demonstrate what this custom shortcuts do in the timeline. At the moment, the MX Master is set to, if I scroll down or left, it shifts to the right. If I scroll up, it shifts to the left. I prefer scrolling up and the timeline shifts to the right. And when I scroll down, the timeline shifts to the left. The timeline horizontal scroll is set to the default. And if you go to the point and scroll, let's go to the thumb wheel and change it to inverted. Let's go back to Premiere Pro. See the difference now. I scroll up, the timeline shifts to the right. If I scroll down, the timeline shifts to the left. One down. At the moment, the keyboard shortcut Z cuts the videos. So instead of going to the razor blade and cutting the video out, just using the keyboard shortcut Z cuts the selected video. Let's assign the add edit or keyboard shortcut Z. Let's go to the undo button and let's select keyboard shortcut. Keyboard shortcut here, Z. Now, instead of using the keyboard shortcuts, I can use the mouse and a click of a button. I've done the same action. And instead of using the keyboard, it took one click. Let's go to the next modification. Let's go to the keyboard shortcut X, repo delete. And let's say we don't want this video. We could just press X and it shifts the whole timeline to the left. Or let's say we don't want this clip to the right. We can press X and shifts the timeline to the left. Instead of using the keyboard shortcut X, let's assign a custom button to the MX Master. Now we're going to assign X. So now instead of using the keyboard shortcut X, let's use our new assigned button to repo delete. Let's press play in the video. Let's stop there. Cut it. In Z, I don't want the remainder of this video here, so I'm gonna press X and the remainder of the timeline shifts to the left. Or I want to keep this video, not this one. So instead of using the keyboard shortcut X, now I use a new assigned custom button. Bam and the rest of the video shifts to the left. As you guys can see through this walkthrough, I've been using the Z, X, and spacebar to play and stop the video. Now let's sign play and stop toggle button. So now that we have created a new custom gesture, I'm gonna click up a button. We're gonna be able to stop and play back our video. If I press one button, it's gonna play. I can stop it at the same time. Play and stop. I wanna cut it there. I want to delete this portion of the video. Okay, continue, press one button, stop there, one button. I want to keep this side of the video, but not this side. Ripple delete. This is just the beginning of what you can do with the MX Master 
3S or 3. Take advantage of the MX Master. I recently made these hinges to my workflow and let me tell you, it's been a game changer. This is just a start for you to expand and apply different custom buttons to the MX Master. If you made it to this part of the video, this is where I'm gonna show you guys what I've set my custom buttons. To recap, this is the global settings. This is the global settings I've applied to in general. Cut, paste, horizontal, shift, middle button, gestures. But today's focus is Premiere Pro. So keyboard shortcut, home. Whenever I press the home button, the scroll wheel, it's going to send me to the beginning of the video. More than often, I use this shortcut to keep revising my videos and keep making edits. Next, the keyboard shortcut command L. Whenever I want to detach audio from videos, the middle button detaches the audio from the selected videos. Timeline horizontal scroll, it's been set to inverted. It was set to default. Whenever I shift to the right or up, it's going to shift the timeline to the right. Whenever I scroll, down it's going to scroll the timeline to the left the back button is set to the keyboard shortcut Z or add edit so whenever I want to cut sections of a video with one click I've completed the task whenever I want to delete the footage when I have made the cuts and I want to delete certain videos with the top button keyboard shortcut X it will ripple delete the clip and shift the remainder of the timeline to the left I've applied different custom gestures whenever I just press on the gesture button it will start Start and pause the playback. Let's look at the remainder of the gesture custom buttons. When I hold the gesture button and move to the left, it's going to ripple trim. Instead of pressing the back button, keyboard shortcut Z or add edit, and then pressing the top button, ripple delete. With holding down and moving to the left, it will ripple trim. It will do those two actions in one. So this is beneficial when you have videos overlaying on top of each other. So whenever I want to delete a section, just ripple trim and everything will shift to the left. Holding down and moving to the right, it will do the opposite of holding down and moving to the left. So ripple trim to the right. When I've, when I've selected the portion I want to delete, it will ripple trim that section to the right and shift the remainder of the timeline to the left. Holding down and moving up, it will display the Lumetri scopes. Lumetri scopes are beneficial when it is time to color correct your footage. Holding the gesture button and moving down will display the FX control tab, which I use more than often. And as I've mentioned before, just holding on the gesture button will start and pause the playback. And remember that these are custom buttons that work for my workflow, but take this knowledge and apply it to your workflow to speed up your video editing process. If you guys enjoy this type of content or learn something new, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.